the love. I'm getting down from tall, thick, chocolate female plugs. Kanye shrug, hitting numbers that matter. Experiana. Thank you for tuning to the Black Fathers Initiative of, o of Cleveland. I was going to say of Ohio, of Cleveland. YouTube page, really appreciate the love. Make sure you guys click the link in the bio, like, subscribe, you know what to do. So, Andrew Tate has been in the news lately for, unfortunately, sex trafficking. Hopefully the guy beats the charges, but they say they got a lot of stuff on him. Don't know what it is. Don't really care, because um, we're not talking about that today. What we're talking about is one of his interviews that he did. And within this interview, he talks about love versus respect, saying that most women in marriages don't respect their husband and that the husband doesn't feel respected and that's why a lot of marriages don't work um he says a few things in here that i am going to point out because i felt that you know hey he made a point there and once again we know that a lot of women feel like he's toxic masculinity and very misogyn misogynistic which he is but once again you know you can take some some information from what he says and be like, hmm, I, 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 you know, I could see that or, you know, I understand that. Everything he says isn't terrible. Let's just put it like that. Let's see what he got to say. You know, the story told about, you know, one day you come home, your dad comes up to you and says, Andrew, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And he's yeah. out, right? Yeah. In the context of what happens when there is a conflict and we all react in three different ways, fight, flight, freeze. Yeah. In that context, your dad is flight. Yeah. He runs off and says, I don't want to deal with it. I'm out of here, I'm gonna do my own thing. Yeah. Okay. In America, a lot of that is happening right now, where it's a single, family, single parent household. Yeah. Kids are being raised without a mom and dad being there, and it's just one mom, you know, mom trying to do both, and yeah. these boys, you know. Yeah. My mom couldn't tell me what to do from a very, once my parents got a divorce. Yeah. I'm a single mother raising me. I've seen my dad every other week. So it's yeah. not like he has direct influence to discipline me yeah. until I went into the military. Yeah. How much of that, like if you were to go back and think about what if your dad didn't take the flight approach? What if your dad took the fight approach? What if your parents were together? Would it have made a difference in you? And how do you view, you know, the idea of fathers being there with mom and dad together, family nucleus, family nucleus? Because a lot of times, you know. First, I would say, I don't know about his family background, but if he's sitting here saying that this man grew up without a father, I would definitely say that definitely contributes to the way that this man acts today. There's no doubt about that. The marriage no longer has, you know, the, 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 what it once had, you know, yeah. like yeah. kids are better off being raised with a mom and dad. How do you process that yourself? Because you became successful not being in that environment. Correct. So do you see this as well? It depends. Okay, There's so exceptions to the rule. How do you process it? I think it's a fantastic environment, and I think in an idealistic world, that's the way it would be. I think the reason it's not happening today is that I don't think many men actually benefit from marriages or relationships anymore. And people are always going to have to do, require some degree of incentive. I think that we've set up the world now in a way where men are seen as worker droids. They're expected to go work all day, come home, uh, clean up as well, share the cleaning with the woman, not have any, not, no meal prepared for them, not have any authority over the household, and just, and just be a worker droid and be a sad. And I don't think that many people understand that men are intrinsically wired to desire respect amongst our peers and in our environments. This is why CEOs work so hard because they get respect in their company. This is why we all want so much money and fast cars and status and influence because we're respected. Men desire respect like we desire oxygen. And if a man's coming home to a household where he doesn't feel any respect, he's not gonna wanna be there for very long. And I think the way you fix this is you need to understand that many men don't have an incentive to be in the house anymore. I, I think that it's actually would be quite easy for a woman in fact, there's a couple women who even say this on YouTube. I can't remember their names, but it'd be quite easy for a woman to make a man really happy with super basic things. Just go up to your husband and say, hey, you know more about this. What do you think about this? That would make most men's world. If there's so many sexless marriages out there where men who work their ass off and they come home to a sexless marriage and kids who don't fucking even like them. If you were to just even ask him this question about some asinine bullshit, a lawnmower purchase, for example, he would feel so happy to feel like the man of the house that's what men need. They need to feel like all this work I'm putting in, all this shit I'm going through, I'm respected for it. As soon as a man feels like he has no respect, that's the absolute end of, of a man's interest or a man's tolerance of the situation. 
All right, so I just wanted to jump in because he does have a point with the respect stuff. Um, now, I know every, every woman is different, every relationship is different. Um, but I can say I haven't had too many relationships where, you know, a woman, you know, like, well, <laughs> it's funny because I have, I've had relationships with women from this, from this country and I've had relationships with women from other countries. And the women from the other countries definitely look for a, like, definitely want a man. Like, they want a, a husband. They want somebody in the house. Whereas women in America are, like, very independent. Like, they don't want a man to help them with anything. Example, I was dating a chick, and she said she was, you know, she was like, I'm about to get me a new car. So I'm like, oh, word? I'm like, all right, cool. Well, if you're going to get your new car, let me know, you know what I'm saying, so I can go with you, and, you know, we can... You know, we get it together because, you know, we, you know, you got to, you know, I didn't tell her like, you know, they're going to take advantage of you because you're a woman. No, I just told her like, hey, let me go with you so, you know, I can help you, you know, haggle the price and get the price down, do some negotiating and stuff, right? She like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. You know, the next time I talked to her, I talked to her, she was at the car lot already. At the lot, I think she was, I ain't going to say she was about to sign the papers, but she got the car. So probably when she called me, she was probably about to sign the papers. And when she called me, I was, I'm not going to say I was devastated, but I was, I was definitely like, well, damn, okay, well, then this ain't, this relationship ain't going nowhere because you don't want to, you don't, you know, you don't respect me enough to be like, yo, come on with me so I, so you can help me with this car or help me get the car, whatever, whatever. And which once again, you know, maybe she felt as though, you know, she was a car guru and knew all the way what she wanted and knew the price she was going to pay, whatever, whatever. But still, it's, it's the mentality of, you know, I don't need a man. You know what I'm saying? I could do this myself. Whereas I had a chick who was Jamaican who actually had the same issue. And she called me damn near for everything. Like, she called me about her car. I helped her with that. She called me about her house. She had some issues with that. She called me about, like, she really was like, yo, like, to the point where I liked it. But it was a lot, nigga. I was like, God damn, bitch. Like, shit. You got it's something going on every week. What the fuck? But I can't say I didn't respect it and I can't say I didn't like it. Um, because I did. And it, it did make me feel some type of way. It made me feel like our relationship was gonna last. I'm still single though, but it did make me feel that way at that time. So so what he's saying about the respect thing, def that's definitely facts. Definitely facts. I think this is the reason it's happened. I think I know a lot of men who completely love their wives. They love them with all their heart. They die for her. But he's just not respected in his house. He doesn't get to be the man of the house. Is it on him or is it on her? Like, does he need to go earn it or is it on her to provide it? It's a combination of both. I think it's certainly on him to earn it. But also the Matrix programming is counter to him. The Matrix programming is trying to tell him that he shouldn't be allowed to be the man of the house. That he shouldn't be allowed to have any kind of authority in any regard. Now, if you don't know what the Matrix program and what he's pretty much talking about is just the world itself. And in my opinion, he's really talking about like white supremacy because everything that's programmed or everything that's put out here in the world is pretty much ran by white people. So the Matrix, in my opinion, is white supremacy. But that's just my opinion. You can be allowed to be able to say what happens. The Matrix programming saying the absolute opposite all the time. If that's getting into your woman and you don't have that much influence and that's getting to all your children, you don't have that much influence. Now you're coming home to a household where everyone just thinks you're the dude who should just fucking work. You're just a worker droid. You're the slave. You're the robot. And your feelings don't matter and your authority doesn't matter and get fucked. And this is, this is very conscious. If you watch any Netflix show, the mother is the smart one and the man is the bumbling idiot. Turn on a show. I dare you. Turn on a family show. The mother is the one, hey, hey, calm down, I'm smart. And the man's the look, ooh, beer. Watch any of these shows. Oh, beer. Try, guy, the all of it, all of it, with children, any, any of it, all of it. They're reducing, they're reducing the man to just a bumbling idiot. And it's very hard, I think, for a lot of men to accept being in a position of constant disrespect. I'll tell you this now. If I had to choose a long-lasting marriage with a woman who loved me or a woman who truly respected me, I might choose respect over love. 
even though they're the same thing for a woman because she she loves you she respects you by default yeah, but if i had say, to I choose think... i'd choose respect i've been through too much and worked too hard and go through too much in day-to-day -day life to come home to my house and be having battles over asinine bullshit I take care of you and I love you with all of my heart. I would die for you. If someone broke into this house, I would engage the invader and die. He always talks about I, engaging invaders, home invaders, like, all the time. Be like, if they broke in the what house, what can I do for you? What would that like, you have to, and when they, they feel broke disrespected, in the house, this is another thing about the world that a lot of people don't understand. Right. It's disrespect that will drive a man to the most heinous of crimes. It's disrespect that starts the school shooter bullshit. It's disrespect that makes men go to jail for life sentences. It's disrespect. When you truly disrespect a man in a public and permanent way, that's when they switch. That's why I'm so respectful in public. You don't know who the fuck you're talking to. He might be on his last fucking straw. And you just disrespect him. Hey, you're a fucking bitch anyway. You're skinny, motherfucker. Fuck you. You don't know. That might be the last time he heard it. I've had enough. You don't know. Disrespect is dangerous, right? And in a household where you're constantly disrespecting a man, he's going to end up depressed and sad for even accepting it. Men just want to feel respected. It's not that hard to do. If a woman, if you truly, I say to any woman watching this, if you truly love your man, it would be so easy for you to just make him feel respected. It doesn't even take actions. You can do it with basic words. Ask his opinion on something. Big him up once in a while. Big up. And because we're supposed to be supermen and we purport ourselves as supermen and we're stoic. But we talked earlier about how we still feel everything. So when you're a strong man, especially, they're like, ah, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Be nice to the dude. You'd be surprised how far you get. But this is why I think most men walk out of marriages because they're like, you know what? I'm not getting any respect here. I get more respect from this dickhead stripper, 18 year old hoe for throwing money at her than I do giving money to my own wife. Where am I being respected? Well, at least she's smiling at me. She ain't smiled at me in years. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch the entire podcast. That's hilarious. He said, she ain't smiled at me in years, but He's a lot. He's a lot to take in because he'll hit a point or two and then he get to talking that shit. You'd be like, Jesus, bro. Like, but like I said in earlier, you know, what he was saying about respect in, in a marriage, you definitely, I mean, in, even in a relationship, you got to have some type of respect. It can't be a bunch of disrespect. That's not going, that's never going to work out. So, yeah, respect is a big part um, of, in my opinion, it's, Respect and love go hand in hand. If somebody loves you, then they're definitely going to respect you. That's just my opinion. So, but yeah, so yeah, um, you know, the one, like I said, I definitely see a difference between the way women from other countries act towards men as well as our American women act towards men. And I'm not saying it's all of them, but I'm just saying I've... I've seen the difference. So, you know, with that being said, we appreciate the love. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure that you uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And, of course, you can go to our website, www.blackfathersinitiativeofcleveland.com. And, uh, well, actually, our website is blackfathersofcleveland.com. And you can see what our nonprofit does uh, for the community. Really appreciate the love. Peace.